does the government think that creating a culture of accountability is problem do they think that it should not happen and if they say so they should publicly say so What was I doing or my organization doing in last uh, four and five months? We have been criticizing government for their actions against the uh, peaceful protesters, actions against the children uh, who were killed, maimed, blinded by the action of the Jammu and Kashmir police and the CRPF. So uh, do they expect that a human rights activist is not going to speak at, the, at this critical juncture? Should we keep quiet? I decided not to keep quiet and I think many Kashmiris wanted not to keep quiet and we raised our voices and that is the price which I had to pay. I was conscious of the consequences of speaking truth and what I suffered uh, two and a half months uh, was uh, something which I did not uh, think that it's unexpected. Uh, there are many friends who I had told already that I suspect that government would take action against me. And even in the past, they did. My other colleagues have been arrested in the past, uh, killed in the past. Multiple Kashmiri uh, journalists, writers have been uh, humiliated, tortured, threatened. So this is part of that collective struggle where all of us are trying to make Kashmir a better Kashmir, a free Kashmir. And government is trying to annihilate all these voices. the government anywhere in the world uh, they are not happy with the work of activists they don't want activists to ex exist they feel that the existence of uh, activist groups human rights groups is a threat to their existence uh, it's unfortunate because the work which we are doing will only help all the stakeholders in Jammu and Kashmir because we are trying to create a sense of accountability, a culture of accountability in Jammu and Kashmir. Like for example, we have been going to the courts, filing cases. The resistance groups have been opposing us on that. They think that by going to the same courts, uh, the courts of the Indian government, because the other arm of the Indian government is uh, violating the rights and there, there is no expectation of justice from the same court. Uh, but we have been still going. We have been still knocking the doors of judicial process in Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, the government by its own designs has tried every time to ensure that the judicial processes don't work. Like even in my case, it took government two months to submit the objections. Why were they delaying it? Because they wanted to uh, delay my release. They were sure that courts cannot hold this uh, PSA against me, they will quash it. And that's what happened. So they, the government's actions are undermining the judicial process, the same, ju the, the, the same judicial process which they want us to believe in. If they want us to believe in the judiciary, then they have to allow the judiciary to work. That's our criticism. They do not tolerate that criticism as well. So most of the people who are languishing in the jails, if you see all their cases slowly sooner or later will get quashed. What does it mean? It means that all these cases which have been filed, the PSA detentions which have been filed against hundreds of Kashmiris are inv invalid, are illegal. Why is state entering into an illegal process? By investing into an illegal phenomenon, do they think that the Kash confidence of the Kashmiri society is going to increase on the Indian system, on the Indian governance, on the uh, Jammu and Kashmir government? No, it's not going to happen. People are going to have more questions, more serious questions, because the conduct of the Indian state has ensured that the, the belief of the Kashmiri people that India is not sincere, that Jammu and Kashmir government is not sincere, is getting cemented. I was treated very well, but that's an exception. I don't know why I should have been only treated well. But that's not the case with all the other prisoners. We heard allegations that uh, most of these people who were arrested by 
uh, pol different police stations were tortured in police stations were humiliated even in uh, uh, some of the boys were paraded naked they were stripped naked by the police uh, and, in, and also in jails also this is what happened to them in Kot Balwal jail also for uh, some time there were some uh, inmates who complained that they were forcibly asked to work in the jail they were asked to cut the grass uh, that's not something which should happen with the political detainees uh, but there were some courageous people in the jail who fought against this and one very good example is Dr. Gulam Mohammed Hubbi who is a Hurriyat leader who fought against this and ensured that this stops. I mean I was very fortunate that there was a campaign around me for my release and therefore there was a lot of coverage about me. Uh, people who were detained in the jails uh, with me, uh, they would tell me and they would share their anxiety that they no one is talking about them there was an element of jealousy also in a lot of uh, people who were with me and i felt very bad about this because their cases should have been equally highlighted uh, we must find ways of speaking about all these people who've been detained in jails we must try and document the lives and the struggle of all these people who have been jailed uh, we will try to do that uh, but that's a complaint which they had. The other complaint which uh, a lot of uh, prisoners had was that in the jails they were hoping that bar association would be exempted uh, from uh, in the strike for, for appearing in the cases of these detainees. But that didn't happen. Most of the family members had to appear on their own in the courts uh, to get their uh, family members uh, PSA detention cost. Uh, it is unfortunate and I think all these people who are in jails, they deserve a lot of support from the society. Lawyers have a huge responsibility towards them. Uh, in last 27 years, lawyers have played a very commendable role. Uh, they, the, the, the prisoners expect that same role to be played even now uh, without any hindrance. In the jail, what I observed is that the Kashmiri prisoners uh, in the jail, according to the jail authorities, are the most disciplined people. They're most civilized. Uh, despite all the persecution from their side, uh, they think that Kashmiris have a very high uh, level of respect for each other, love for each other, and are very disciplined. Uh, I, we have this hope that the behavior of these prisoners uh, gets reflected in the overall society on all accounts in Jammu and Kashmir. I, I would like to thank each one of those who has spoken for my release and become part of a campaign. Uh, their campaign is what persuaded the government uh, to allow the court processes to uh, get uh, com completed because it was uh, because of the pressure of this uh, solidarity campaign that I think that I'm out. Uh, I got released because of the pressure that was developed by the international campaign which was very well participated by a lot of Kashmiris and I am thankful to each one of them.